What's up, everyone? You're back at Clever TV's Top 5 Friday. Right now, we are so anticipating the MTV VMAs that we're counting down the things that we want to see go down at this year's show coming up on Sunday, August 24th. Up first, we all know that a great group of artists are lined up, and it is totally tradition for VMA performances to be legit and over the top. Seriously, we cannot wait. At five, it's all about Taylor Swift. She's confirmed to perform, and we are hoping, praying, dying to hear a brand spanking new song from her. And it totally makes sense that she'd perform a new single, since there are rumors that her new song is called Shake It Off, but back to the performance, from what we hear, it's supposed to be explosive, and it's apparently not a collaboration with any other singer, which totally supports our prediction that we're getting a new Taylor Swift tune. Fingers crossed. At number four, it's about another confirmed artist performance. The guys of Five Seconds of Summer are set to take the forum stage, so is it too much for fans to hope that viewers get to see some skin? Callum tweeted out that he's definitely not going to wear pants that day, while the guys joked in an MTV interview asking how naked they could get for the VMAs. We hear that Five Sauce is taking on its new single, Amnesia. It's a little bit of a slower, emotion-filled track, and it will be awesome for fans to witness. But again, is it too much to still wonder if they'll be wearing only socks on stage? Keep in mind that Iggy Azalea and Rita Orta will be taking on Black Widow together, plus there are a ton of other announced performers, including Nicki Minaj, Maroon 5, Usher, Beyonce, and Ariana Grande. Speaking of which, again, this is the top five things we want to see happen at this year's VMAs, and not necessarily what will actually happen. This is a big stretch, but wouldn't it drive you insane to see? Ready for it? What if rumored new couple Ariana Grande and Big Sean kiss on stage? We'd all be like, what the f Oh, obviously, please bleep out f Earlier this week, the artist pair dropped a single called Best Mistake. Okay, okay, so even though it's confirmed that our girl AG will perform two times at the event, we actually hear that she's taking on Break Free, in addition to debuting a new track with Nicki Minaj and Jessie J. You probably know that one, it's called Bang Bang. I'm a fan and I support, yay! Oh, P.S. Nicki is also set to perform her latest hit single, Anaconda, and we're sure she's going to go all out for it. Up next in our two spot, it's all about B. We are super stoked to see her take the stage as a confirmed performer, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed again until the moment she takes the stage that we get to see a Destiny's Child reunion. I don't think you're ready for this, Jill. These girls are still friends and quite supportive of each other, so this wouldn't be super shocking, especially since last year's winner of the Vanguard Award, which is MTV's version of a Lifetime Achievement Award, Beyonce won the 2014 year this year. But last year's winner, Justin Timberlake, did a 15-minute performance for the occasion, and it featured an in-sync reunion. So please, 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 Destiny's Child, let us rock out to Bills, 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 Bootylicious, Survivor, Independent Woman, the list goes on and on, and we're just hoping that the set list reflects that. And guys, at number one, we think it would be ridiculously amazing if MTV decided to saddle up and announce Miss Miley Cyrus as the 2014 show host. Traditionally, the VMAs don't really have an official MC, but would an MC make the perfect MC? Hell's yes, I say! After last year's performance of We Can't Stop and then her collab with Robin Thicke on Blurred Lines for the big night, and it received the most press coverage I think I've ever seen on an artist's shocking performance, I mean, this is her shot to make headlines once again. Perhaps she would be straight up crazy and like giving her opinions. Maybe she'd be totally charming, getting down and dirty. I have no clue what she would do. I think you know where I'm going with this one. But at the end of the day, we want to see Miley as the 2014 MTV BMA host. But guys, those are just our clever TV ideas on what we need to see go down at the Video Music Awards. The list of ideas can certainly be endless, like I've mentioned, so let us know what you want to watch unfold on the live MTV show on August 24th. And be sure to also subscribe to Clever TV for all of your entertainment news updates. I'm your host, Dana Ward. Be sure to click right over here to see another episode of Top 5. This one, though, over here, it's all about weird celebrity obsessions. Yeah. 
All right, guys, thanks again for checking out the show. See you soon right here for all of your coverage about the 2014 MTV VMAs. Bye, guys.